fact, it will happen for certain unless we remember exactly what we've just seen. Michael Caputo is a former Trump campaign advisor, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Caputo, if this report comes back, whenever it comes back, and shows or doesn't show collusion between the Russian government and the Trump campaign, you will be owed an apology, no? I think so, but there's no office of, you know, return of your of your reputation at the United States Capitol and certainly not at the offices of MSNBC. You know, Tucker, uh, you, you look back, if you're caught in this jackpot like I am and like Carter Pages and J.D. Gordon and others who are mere witnesses and who have been ruined anyway, whose careers have been completely destroyed, whose families have been completely destroyed as marginal witnesses, you understand that there are real key players at the in the bowels of this thing. Like, for example, you talk about Brennan, you talk about these other players at the on the in front of everyone. We have players like Dan Jones. You know about Dan Jones. The, the Federalist uh, published a great story by investigative journalist Paul Sperry. Uh, he's a guy I talked about in front of the Senate Intelligence Committee almost a year ago. This guy was a Senate Intelligence Committee staffer, a former FBI analyst, and he today has raised $10 million to continue the work of Fusion GPS. He's working closely with Glenn Simpson today with Christopher Steele, the former British spy who Hillary Clinton and, and the DNC paid. He He's working with him today, and he puts out a daily email to to uh, reporters and Democratic uh, uh, committee staffers on the Hill, still peddling the Russian collusion hoax, still peddling stories that have been completely disproven, and he's still getting hits in the media even today. Any idea who's paying for that? Who gave him the ten million dollars? Yes, it, uh, uh, he has admitted that it's being paid for uh, uh, by George Soros by Rob Reiner, meathead from All in the Family, by a, 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 a foundation close to this Steyer character who's running this Impeach Trump Now deal. These guys have put up, I mean, I think it's almost over $10 million right now. And by the way, while my family and J.D. Gordon's family and Carter Page's family and, and dozens of other families related to the Trump kind of uh, orbit, have gone completely bust due to this bogus Russia investigation. Dan Jones and Glenn Simpson and Christopher Steele, they're getting rich, rich beyond their wildest dreams. And here's the thing, Tucker. I know you, you believe and others believe that there's nothing criminal going on here, but I disagree. All you got to do is look up 18 U.S.C. 2384 and apply that to Dan Jones. If we don't have some kind of investigation to, into Dan Jones, Christopher Steele, and, and, uh, and Glenn Simpson and Fusion GPS, and if we find a crime uh, uh, in related to 18 U.S.C. 2384 sedition, then we have no country. We have yeah. no rule of law. Well, at the very least, we're learning who has real power in this country, and it's, it's not this administration. No doubt. No obviously. doubt. Uh, Michael Caputo, thank you very much. Luis Miranda is a Thanks, former Tucker. DNC communications director. He joins us tonight. Um, so I think it's fair to say 